What's up guys, welcome back. This is a moment we've been waiting for for three years, I think. Uh, we bought this truck in 2021. You guys have not seen it yet. You don't know what it is. Some people may know it on Instagram um, from Boosted Built 6.0. Uh, Boosted 6.0 is Instagram tagging. I bought his old drag truck, uh, Crew Cab Short Bed from California. And these are all the things I've been buying for for the last three years, saving up to finally build this truck. So. Uh, main things, one of the first things we're going to start with here, we got a Thumper 2H pop to move all that oil because we are going to be running pretty big injectors. Um, we've got a Warren diesel injection, built a little pressure oil pump so we don't have that split and ruin our front cover. Uh, for all the RPMs, we've got a Colt Stage 2 cam, uh, welded the end of it, had it TIG welded so that way we won't spin it off or just, just in case have any issues. Um, obviously, we went with a 625 plus aged ARP head stud for the heads. We went ahead and got some uh, ARP main studs as well, just for extra safety purposes. Um, then obviously we have all new uh, bearings. Most of the stuff's gonna be Molly um, bearing wise. And then uh, for lifters, we, I had these, these are used. I've got about 6,000 miles on there, the Johnson USA lifters. Um, I had these in my burgundy truck motor, which is no longer in the truck. So I have these, and then I have the Kill Devil Diesel uh, Chromoly push rods. I've got an IPR. Uh, billet oil cooler screen. Uh, we went ahead with this one and went with our best, our favorite people ever, Holders Diesel, best injectors on the market. Um, always buy premiums. So these specific set for this truck, we went with conventional. Um, after talking with the guys at RCD, they said if you're gonna have a truck you wanna drive on the street and not just take the strip, uh, you're gonna wanna go with conventional. They're more responsive versus the hybrids are an on-off switch. They're all there when they're there, but they take a second. So conventionals are, are more responsive. So I went with a 300-100 uh, premium conventional injector from Holders. Um, and then obviously as you can see here, we have Wagner competition rods. So they can hold pretty much anything we're ever gonna put to this thing. Um, the plan is 1200 horsepower, but we'll be happy with a thousand plus, just four digits is what we want. So um, we got some DDP pistons. Uh, they're just valve relief cut. Pretty simple. Um, I didn't go with coated pistons because I hate how they, they smoke white when the truck's warming up till it gets hot. So that's why they're not coated. I really don't need coated. Uh, it'll live, it'll be fine without it. So we went ahead and had the whole rotating assembly balanced as a unit. So we've got the crank here, it's fully polished by my machinist. Um, and then I had it balanced as well. So you can see a couple drill marks there. Um, but all that is ready to go. And then this is the block. So it's been fully machined top to bottom. Um, painted blue for the, the Iceman look on the truck. So we're getting ready to start putting all this together. That's why we have all these parts out here, but fully machined, decked, honed, all the good stuff. Um, that's pretty much most of the engine parts. There's a few back over here we'll talk about in a minute, but uh, we're gonna move on to the spiciest part of this whole build, which is gonna be SoCal Billet Compound Kit, okay? This kit specifically that I have sitting here in front of me is not for this truck. This kit is for my burgundy truck. So this kit is gonna be a 68 VGT in the valley with this 88 over the top of it. So you'll see we have a V-band for that 88, or for the, the 68 that we have in the valley for the compressor cover. So this still has to go on my burgundy truck, but it's still a very close representation of the kit that's gonna be on this. So this is a VGT S400 kit. The kit going on this is gonna be an S400 S400 kit. Um, still gonna have an 88 in the atmosphere on the big drag truck, but we're gonna have a bigger turbo in the valley, which we'll go all the, over all that in a separate video. But just look at the workmanship on this stuff. I mean, Brayden, get in here and show them how nice all this stuff is. I mean, this is literally the highest quality of anything you could ever buy. So um, you see that the uh, cold side pipe, it's got three ports. Uh, you can put nitrous in there, you can put you know, your, your gauges in there, whatever you want to do. Um, super high quality kit. It's absolutely gorgeous besides our fingerprints all over it just from putting it out. Um, beautiful heat wrapping here for the uh, hot side intermediate for the crossover from turbo to turbo. And this is the down pipe and it looks like the way it looks. So there is much more to this kit. There's brackets, there's lines, there's everything. I couldn't fit it all out here on the table, but I just wanted to show you the beautiful stuff and the amazing work that Larry at SoCal does. So if you guys need any turbo parts, any piping parts, any boot kits, any, he sells parts too, he sells HT turbos, he sells everything. If you need any parts for your six liter, 
you need to hit up Larry at SoCal Bill. He's the best guy around, the best customer service, and he literally has the best quality in the entire country. So, moving on from that, um, I didn't say this is a bullseye turbo. We will be running two bullseyes on this as well. The high pressure one, um, I think it's what it's called, it's high pressure, the smaller one in the valley. It's gonna be a dual ball bearing. This one's not, it's just regular. Um, so, we'll get to that turbo again in another video, but it'll be a ball bearing, they'll both be bullseyes. If you cut bullseyes, it's just literally the best. So, you come over here, you can see we got a Suncoast Billet Flex plate, hold all this power. We went ahead and got this XTP regulated return. We have, uh, we've had it for a while. It's been, uh, like I said, I've been buying parcels for three years. So um, another piece to Larry's kits right here. This is the billet tray for the battery relocation to the driver's side. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. There's also billet brackets that bolt over as well that aren't in the video. But again, I'll have a whole video of all that kit when it comes in. Um, we went ahead and went with uh, heads from My Machinist, brand new castings. Um, I've been using these heads for years and they're absolutely fantastic. I've had zero issues. Um, he does the O-ring job himself, and we actually went with a one-piece valve in these heads because the normal valve in them is a two-piece, so it's, a, it's like a, a spin-welded valve. So there's two different pieces that can come apart, so high horsepower wouldn't be safe. We put one-piece valves in it. We've also got uh, 120 PSI valve springs in here too, along with the O-ring, so those should be wonderful, great forever. Then we have just some painted parts miscellaneous for the motor. Um, here's the oil pan that comes with your kit from Larry's at SoCal with your billet kit. I have a plug on it now. This is your, uh, your drain for your atmospheric turbo. So that's there, nice. Um, obviously, I just got a front cover painted here. The rocker box is painted as well. The H-pop cover painted, and then we have an O-Dogs diesel ported intake. So pretty much got the works for this thing and everything in it. So like I said, we're shooting for what would be amazing, would be 1200 horsepower, but regardless, we just want to see four digits on the dyno. So all these parts combined, everything I've been doing, spending money on for three years, buying this stuff, saving up, it's all gonna come to light. You guys are gonna get to see it on full piece by piece. Um, see the companies that I use and why I use them, like SoCal Billet, for instance, just you know, the, the quality and the workmanship on this stuff is insane. So um, besides that, we're going to go ahead and, and start getting all these parts installed in this motor. And you get to see that. We'll do like a little time lapse and uh, some video. You're going to see us putting all these super sweet parts in this thing and uh, getting this thing to where it's one step closer to the road.